गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट आई एम मिस्टर नितिन रावल एज योर क्लास टीचर बिसाइड बीइंग योर सब्जेक्ट टीचर वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन क्लास सो प्लीज बी अटेंटिव फॉर टूडेज लेक्चर यस स्टूडेंट टुडे वी विल लर्न ग्रामर चैप्टर नंबर नाइन द टाइटल ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज पेपोजिशंस so here we are to define very first preposition and later on we will learn kinds of prepositions with help of ppt and we will try to understand the real usages of preposition in a various form of sentence so here you are if we define at initial level a common definition is known as a preposition is a word or a group of word used before a noun or pronoun to show the relation between the noun or pronoun with the rest of the sentence this is a very common definition regarding preposition what it it's uh, does in the sentence simply it shows the relation between noun or pronoun it means in detail if we talk it is a word place be before a noun or pronoun to show in what relation the person or thing denoted by it stand in regard to something else it means in the sentence the person or thing denoted in the in the sentence how it stands in what relation with the something else the word that used in sentence showing this relation is known is is known as a preposition clear above all if we define in a proper manner then we can say a preposition is a word that links a noun or pronoun or a phrase to other words in a sentence the word preposition means placing before simply the word preposition means placing before it is it is placed before a noun or pronoun and so its relationship with some other words in a sentence suppose if i read the example the coach was happy with rohan because he played well so here in this example we can understand the word used with as a preposition and it shows the relation between the coach and the rohan's playing well that is why here word with is known as a preposition one more example my parents are proud of me so word of is used here as preposition one more example she was grateful to her friend here word to stands as preposition and it shows the relation between she third person pronoun with one more person that is her friend one more example here you are he stays near chitranjan park here word near use as a preposition so all together we have complete understanding and defines of definitions of preposition now if we talk about the kinds of prepositions so here on this this on this screen we can study the kinds of prepositions so see there kinds of preposition very first is simple preposition word like at by for in of of from on out through till to up with 
etcetera there are so many preposition word that that they work as a preposition in the sentence but commonly known these are the given here in the list see here one of them is used in the sentence then you can understand very well see she goes through the paper every morning so here word through use as a preposition i bought this sari for my mother from the new mall so here word for and from both are preposition use in the sentence now so all these are the simple prepositions and what is about the compound prepositions let us study in detail compound preposition are generally formed by prefixing a preposition to a noun or adjective or adverb word like about across above belong along amidst among around before behind be below beneath beside between beyond inside outside underneath within and without etc so all these word mostly here why are they are compound preposition you know you you can see here word a and b the letter word the letter a and b mostly prefix the other words and thus it become the compound preposition so in every word you can see either a or b or sometime ab both are at pre placed before that noun and that is why they are compound preposition here in example let us try to understand the way of example the preposition how do they work here we rowed across the river to reach the village beyond the forest so your word both see across and beyond both used as preposition in this sentence one more example is said come let's go for a stroll along the river bank your word along is used as preposition in this sentence all together all these preposition shows the relation between noun pronoun and with other some other thing now one more types of uh, preposition is on next page let's study see here you are the third kind of preposition almost known as a phrase prepositions uh, what are these phrase prepositions see here these are groups of word with the force of single preposition word like according according to by means of by way of in case of in accordance to in regard to with a view to in lieu of in spite of due to because of there are so many phrase prepositions because these are the group group of word with force of the single preposition so every you can see in every example your word uh, to that is preposition but there is a group of word according also by means of that is also prepositions but these are known as a phrase prepositions let's try to understand through example in spite of all my help she deserted me when i needed her most so word in spite of use as a phrase preposition in this sentence let us understand one more kinds of preposition and that is participle prepositions this kind of prepositions are used a very typical way see here all those ing form of the present participle used as a preposition in sentence see bearing concerning consider considering notwithstanding pending regarding respecting touching re, uh, you know these above present participle are frequently used absolutely without any noun or pronoun attached to them and do the work of preposition see here example 
through example we have a clear understanding see here notwithstanding her claim the property was handed over to the rightful heir here word notwithstanding is used as a preposition without any noun or pronoun so such a pre participle preposition can be used in sentence without noun or pronoun to initiate the sentence so here word like not notwithstanding one more example is here regarding yesterday's police firing an inquiry has been initiated so regarding here this is phrase prepo, uh, participle preposition so these in this video we have discussed the definitions of prepositions and their kinds so now we will understand through picture example so that we have a clear understanding regarding prepositions so let us go to next lecture next video lecture